Hey, what's up everybody? This is Easy Speeds and Feeds, and today I'll show you guys how to add multiple levels in Mastercam 2020. So, let's get going. Okay, here's our part. We imported it into Mastercam 2020. It's rectangular and it's got a pocket. Now, what we want to do is add a wireframe level. So, we select the whole thing, go to wireframe, click on curve all edges, click the check mark, there you go, we got a bunch of wireframe. Now go to levels, go to number, type in 2, hit tab, type in wireframe, that will add another level. Next, we want to take all the wireframe from level 1 to level 2. So we select level 1. We click on select all wireframe entities, right click, click change level, type in 2, click the check mark. Now all of our wireframe is on level 2. Next, we just want to add some profile wireframe. So maybe if we want to dynamic mill the outside. So we repeat the process. We make level 3, type in profile. Go back to our solid, select the whole thing, click on wireframe, and click on silhouette boundary. Click the check mark. Now click on select all wireframe, right click the screen, click change level, type in 3. Just like that, click the check mark, and now your outer profile is on level 3. So, next we can do, let's say, the inner pocket. We'll make a separate level. So, we'll type in 4, name, inner pocket. You can name it whatever you like. We'll just call it inner pocket. So, we'll go back to wireframe and we'll just select all the wireframe we want on an inner, inner pocket. Click on all this wireframe. So we'll right click the screen, hit change level, click on 4, and we'll click on copy. So all this wireframe stays on level 2 and it copies itself to level 4. So there we go, we got four levels and this adding levels really helps when you want to do really complicated parts. It makes it so you can just really focus on a specific set of geometry. So um, that's our video today. I uh, hope you guys liked it and uh, be on the lookout for more. Alright, we'll see you later.